The 56th United States Congress was a meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, composed of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. It met in Washington, D.C. from March 4, 1899, to March 4, 1901, during the third and fourth years of William McKinley's presidency. The apportionment of seats in this House of Representatives was based on the 11th Census of the United States in 1890. Both chambers had a Republican majority. There was one African American member, George Henry White of North Carolina, who served his second and final term as a representative in this Congress, and would be the last black member of Congress until 1928, and the last black member of Congress from the South until 1972. Major events June 2, 1899, the Filipino Rebellion began the Philippine-American War. November 21, 1899, Vice President Garrett Hobart died. January 8, 1900, President McKinley placed Alaska under military rule. January 17, 1900, Brigham H. Roberts was refused a seat in the United States House of Representatives because of his polygamy. February 5, 1900, Britain and the United States signed a treaty for the building of a Central American shipping canal through Nicaragua. February 16, 1900, the United States, Germany and Great Britain ratified the Tripartite Convention partitioning the Samoan Islands. November 6, 1900, U.S. presidential election, 1900, Republican incumbent William McKinley was re-elected by defeating Democratic challenger William Jennings Bryan. Major legislation March 14, 1900, Gold Standard Act, Cess. 1, ch. 41, 31 Stat. 45 April 2, 1900, Foraker Act, Cess. 1, ch. 191, 31 Stat. 77 Puerto Rico Civil Code Party summary The count below identifies party affiliations at the beginning of the first session of this Congress, and includes members from vacancies and newly admitted states, when they were first seated. Changes resulting from subsequent replacements are shown below in the Changes in Membership section. Senate House of Representatives Leadership Senate President, Garrett Hobart R. until November 21, 1899, vacant thereafter. President pro tempore, William P. Fry R. Democratic Caucus Chairman, James K. Jones D. Republican Conference Chairman, William B. Allison R. Democratic Campaign Committee Chairman, Stephen M. White D. <laughs> House of Representatives Speaker, David B. Henderson R. Democratic Caucus Chairman, James Hay D. Republican Conference Chairman, Joseph G. Cannon R. <laughs> Majority Republican leadership Majority Leader, Sereno E. Payne Majority Whip, James A. Taney Minority Democratic leadership Minority Leader, James D. Richardson Minority Whip, Oscar Underwood Members This list is arranged by chamber, then by state. Senators are listed by class, and representatives are listed by district. Skip to House of Representatives, below. 
Topic: <laughs> Senate. At this time, senators were elected by the state legislatures every two years, with one third beginning new six-year terms with each Congress. Preceding the names in the list below are Senate class numbers, which indicate the cycle of their election. In this Congress, Class I meant their term began with this Congress, requiring re-election in 1904, Class II meant their term ended with this Congress, requiring re-election in 1900, and Class III meant their term began in the last Congress, requiring re-election in 1902. <laughs> House of Representatives Changes in membership The count below reflects changes from the beginning of the first session of this Congress. Senate Replacements, 7 Democratic, no net change Republican, one seat loss Populist, one seat gain Deaths, 3 Resignations, 1 Vacancy, 5 Interim appointments, 2 Total seats with changes, 9 <laughs> House of Representatives Replacements, 21 Democratic, 5-seat loss Republican, 5-seat gain Populist, no net change Deaths, 12 Resignations, 7 Contested election, 3 New seats, 1 Total seats with changes, 26 Committees Lists of committees and their party leaders, for members House and Senate of the committees and their assignments, go into the official Congressional Directory at the bottom of the article and click on the link four links. .In the directory after the pages of Terms of Service, you will see the committees of the Senate, House standing with subcommittees, Select and Special and Joint and after the committee pages, you will see the House, Senate committee assignments in the directory, on the committees section of the House and Senate in the official Congressional Directory, the committee's members on the first row on the left side show shows the chairman of the committee and on the right side shows the ranking member of the committee. <inaudible> Senate Additional accommodations for the Library of Congress select Agriculture and Forestry Appropriations Audit and control the contingent expenses of the Senate Canadian Relations Census Civil Service and Retrenchment Claims Coast and Insular Survey Coast Defenses Commerce Corporations organized in the District of Columbia Cuban Relations Distributing Public Revenue among the States select District of Columbia Education and Labor Engrossed Bills Enrolled Bills Establish a university in the United States select Examine the several branches in the civil service Expenditures in executive departments Finance Fisheries Five civilized tribes of Indians select Foreign relations Forest reservations and the protection of game Geological survey select Immigration Immigration and naturalization Indian Affairs Irrigation and Reclamation Industrial Expositions International Expositions select Interoceanic Canals Interstate Commerce Judiciary Library Manufactures Military Affairs Mines and Mining Mississippi River and its Tributaries select National Banks select Naval Affairs Nicaragua Canal select Pacific Islands and Puerto Rico Pacific Railroads Patents Pensions Philippines Post Office and Post Roads Potomac River Front select Printing Private Land Claims Privileges and Elections 
Public buildings and grounds Public health and national quarantine Public lands Railroads Revision of the laws Revolutionary claims Rules Tariff regulation select Territories Transportation and sale of meat products select Transportation routes to the seaboard Washington City Centennial select Whole Woman suffrage select Topic House of Representatives Accounts Agriculture Alcoholic liquor traffic Appropriations Banking and currency Claims Coinage, weights and measures Disposition of executive papers District of Columbia Education Election of the President, Vice President and Representatives in Congress Elections Enrolled bills Expenditures in the Agriculture Department Expenditures in the Interior Department Expenditures in the Justice Department Expenditures in the Navy Department Expenditures in the Post Office Department Expenditures in the State Department Expenditures in the Treasury Department Expenditures in the War Department Expenditures on Public Buildings Foreign Affairs Immigration and Naturalization Indian Affairs Insular Affairs Interstate and Foreign Commerce Invalid Pensions Irrigation of Arid Lands Labor Levies and Improvements of the Mississippi River Manufactures Merchant Marine and Fisheries Mileage Military Affairs Militia Mines and Mining Naval Affairs Pacific Railroads Patents Pensions Post Office and Post Roads Public Buildings and Grounds Public Lands Railways and Canals Reform in the Civil Service Revision of Laws Rivers and Harbors Rules Standards of Official Conduct Territories Ventilation and Acoustics War claims Ways and means Whole Topic. Joint committees Conditions of Indian Tribes special. Disposition of useless executive papers Topic. Caucuses Democratic House Democratic Senate Topic Employees Architect of the Capitol Edward Clark Librarian of Congress John Russell Young until 1899 Herbert Putnam starting 1899 Public Printer of the United States Frank W Palmer Topic. Senate Chaplain, William H. Milburn Methodist. Secretary, William Ruffin Cox Charles G. Bennett, elected February 1, 1900 Sergeant-at-Arms, Richard J. Bright Daniel M. Ransdell, elected February 1, 1900 Topic. House of Representatives Chaplain, Henry N. Coden Universalist. Clerk, Alexander McDowell Clerk at the Speaker's Table, Asher C. Hines Doorkeeper, William J. Glenn Postmaster, Joseph C. McElroy Reading Clerks, Data Unknown, Missing Sergeant-at-Arms, Henry Casson See also United States elections, 1898 elections leading to this Congress United States Senate elections, 1898 and 1899 United States House of Representatives elections, 1898 
United States elections, 1900 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States presidential election, 1900 United States Senate elections, 1900 and 1901 United States House of Representatives elections, 1900